Documenting findings is a prudent practice of any researcher. Trust me, there will be a lot of information coming your way. What I'll demo here can be thought of as a breadcrumb trail to help you retrace your steps. Evernote is a cloud tool for storing and organizing digital information. The interfaces of Genome Browse and Evernote are tightly linked, making it easy to document the research you do. In this video I'll show you how to establish the Genome Browse to Evernote link and I'll demo its use. In case this video doesn't answer all your questions, let me point you to the help manual. A search for Evernote in the Genome Browse manual points you to the details. There you'll find a description of Evernote and how to link Genome Browse to your Evernote account. If you're unfamiliar with Evernote, it is a free cloud-based storage service that archives pages from web browsers, including Genome Browse. This URL shows where you can sign up for a free account if you don't have one. Okay, let me show you how to link Genome Browse to Evernote. The file menu in Genome Browse gives an Evernote option. The first time you choose Connect to Evernote you will be taken to a sign-in page. Use your Evernote account information to sign in. Read this screen then authorize Genome Browse to access your Evernote account. A message will appear once the connection is successfully established. To demonstrate the use of Evernote, I've arranged my screen with Genome Browse on the left and Evernote on the right. I start a new notebook when I begin to research a new idea. Let's suppose I want to research an idea I have about the BRCA1 gene. I'll make a notebook to collect what I find in Genome Browse. We'll add notes to our BRCA1 notebook as we explore in Genome Browse. Get familiar with Evernote Sync button to ensure that its content is current. Now in Genome Browse let's search for the BRCA1 gene. The location bar has a dialog box for inputting searchable items, like gene names and RSIDs. After selecting the BRCA1 gene the plots will zoom on this region. Hover over the RefSeq genes track and the gene name appears. Let's capture this image to document the starting point of our exploration. The file menu in Genome Browse will let you create a new node in Evernote. The BRCA1 notebook is already selected so just type in a title for this node. When you click OK, Genome Browse displays a new panel. That panel will become the new node in Evernote. Now let's make a bookmark that is hyperlinked to this exact region in the genome. For demonstration purposes, let me jump back to the previous location. Now when I click on the hyperlink, Genome Browse displays the bookmarked view. Let's add this image to Evernote. Select the camera icon and a pop-up appears. The domain view is an advanced feature that indicates where this region is found on the chromosome. Select the box to show a domain view in this image. Click Save to capture the image with Evernote. Now go back to Evernote and update our progress. The BRCA1 notebook is currently empty. Click on the Sync button to update the notebook. There's our hyperlink and image. Now I want to show that the hyperlink in Evernote communicates with Genome Browse. Note the view in the Genome Browse window. That view is instantly updated when I click on the hyperlink in my Evernote note. Close out the Evernote panel in Genome Browse and carry on with your exploration.